you ready? Go to an odd. Hey guys, I'm Nav and I love a cheeky Guinness. I'm Eve and I don't like a Guinness. I'm Emily and I'm indifferent to Guinness. Um, we're all drunk on Guinness, so let's see how we got here. Pub number one, which is the Berkeley. Um, we've all got our Guinnesses. First thoughts: um, they did with the head put a very adorable little four-leaf clover on. It has gone. Um, what do you guys think about the colour? The colour is spot on, as you can see from the picture. <laughs> I'm not a Guinness drinker, so I wouldn't know. But it looks pretty good. My only concern. There's no Guinness sign, so I can't split the G, which I was very excited about trying to do, but that's fine. Um, yeah, colour great, really good pour, uh, really good pour. Um, yeah, upset about not being able to split the G. And I don't like Guinness. What? Nav loves Guinness, so I do love it, and it tastes great. <laughs> Spectacular. <laughs> um, I think this is really good. It's also I don't know whether we've told you the price yet. I don't think we have. It was four pounds and three pence, which I think is going to be the cheapest we get. Yeah. I don't know whether you guys agree, but it's spoons. spoons. So. For taste versus price comparison, I reckon we're doing good. Hello, and the first fun fact of Guinness is that it helps get rid of blood clots. Hurrah, it's good for you. Hey guys, so at each pub we're going to rate it out of four things. So it's price, taste, presentation, and vibes. Yeah, um, should I start off? Yeah, so when it comes to presentation, we're going to give it a five. Yes, it did match the image that I showed before, but it's not in a Guinness glass, so I didn't get to split the G. None of us got to split the G, sorry. Um, so I'm severely disappointed. Sorry. Although, to add to the presentation thing, they did do a cute little clover on top, which I appreciated. And um, the lady serving it was really, really cute and was like, I'm so sorry, it's not in a Guinness glass. So like that raised it from like a four to a five. Um, presentation, what else we do? Vibes. Okay, vibes. I love a spoons. I think we all love spoons. Universally, we love spoons. However, as spoons go, the Berkeley's not the one. <laughs> so, okay, for that reason, vibes is gonna have to be a four. I'm so sorry. It's the Berkeley. Yeah, I can't say much else about it, to be honest. What am I doing again? Price. And Price. So it was four pounds and three pence, which is good considering. And it's also spoons, so like you know, you get you know you get what you got. Um, taste, taste. Uh, we agreed on eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Uh, you know, I wasn't a big Guinness fan before, but now I'm kind of you know warming up to it. We love and Nav loves Guinness. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> um, so you know, see how the night goes. I'm probably going to be a Guinness lover after this, as we all are. Looking at you, Eve. <laughs> Looking at you. We're in the White Hart. Immediately, we love it. We've been given, come, come in and show the hats. We've been given Guinness hats! It's amazing! I love it. We've been going to have it. Moreover, we've been given proper Guinness glasses, yeah. which means, and I've never done this before, I'm going to be able to split the G for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> It's monumental, it's historical, it's amazing. Yeah. Spoons, level up please. <laughs> okay, put it down. In three, two, one, split the G, commencing. Okay. Cheers! Goals. Right, Nav did it. Okay, if I'm to give advice, it's more than you think. Yeah, it's way more than you think. And I did like a good three goals. Can we just say I went below though? I didn't exactly split it yet. I didn't exactly split, I went below, but 
I'm getting there. Quite impressive. I'm gonna give myself a three out of five skills rating. Good. Okay, so fun fact about Guinness, guys. It's a great source of iron, and as um, Eve kindly said, it's actually great for pregnant women. No, Is it? no, no, it used not anymore. <laughs> Okay, used to be, used to be, great, it's actually great, every, every pregnant woman on earth should be drinking gallons of Guinness a day, okay, anyways, uh, it was in back in the day, um, it was a great source of iron for pregnant women, hashtag uh, iron baby, iron baby, um, and yeah, so please, pregnant woman, please drink more Guinness. From your Guinness doctor here. Hey everyone, so when it comes to taste, we're still going to give it an 8. I'm not going to lie, I tried so hard to split the G that I didn't really taste it, I was inhaling it. But it's still the same as the last one. Banging. Great. Thank you. Um, so I'm doing Atmosphere. And Price. And Price. No, so. I'm doing presentation and price because Emily wanted to do the atmosphere. So, um, presentation, uh, we're giving it a nine, aren't we? We're giving it a nine just because it came in a Guinness glass, the pour was amazing, nice amount of head on it, and she did the little, the little clover, which we really appreciated. So, that's for the presentation. Price wise, £4.80, which honestly, not much difference, but they do do a student discount, which we forgot to get. So I guess with student discount, it would be like, what, the same as spoons. So price, I, I think we're giving it like a, like a 7 out of 10. Pretty good. Yeah. Okay, I'm doing vibes. Say it with me, vibes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, shit, what do we say? Nine out of ten. Okay, so for the hats, okay, shit. Oh my god, okay, wait, wait, nine out of ten. Hats, yeah. flags, music, okay. flags. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so um, in terms of like proximity to uni, it's a great location. That's like, you know, we can put that in as well. Also, Berkeley, but this place has such got good vibes. We got darts over there, we got pool over there. Uh, nice flags, as Eve said. Um, yeah. Fucking great music. I fucking love the music. Also, we got hats from the bartender. Love her for that. Um, anything else we can say about the vibes, guys? Great vibes. Great vibes. Uh, love, fucking we love. We said nine. Because yeah. White Heart, and also student friendly as fuck. So if you want to come down here for St. Paddy's Day, please do, as they, you know, they're big, big, big supporters. <laughs> big supporters, man. So, we're on our third pub, and I'm going to say, I'm feeling good. We did do, we did have a cheeky pit stop at Miss Millie's. Shout out to Miss Millie's. I fucking love Miss Millie's. Oh, effing love Miss Millie's. Um, yeah, we're feeling really good, actually. We were pretty waved before, but we're doing good now. I think. What's the vibes like, guys? Cheer! Yay! Yay! That was so bad. Yay! Yay! We sound so insufferable. She's like the sarcastic. Um, I'll do it. I'll do it with you. So, me and Eve got the vegan chicken burger from Miss Millie's. Um, Eve hated it. Because it but, tastes meaty. <laughs> it's so bizarre. Yeah. Um, was kind of drunk before. It's doing really good. Yeah. Excited. We are going to do some baby Guinnesses at the end, and I'm hoping by the time we're at Shamus yeah. McDonald's, I would love to be sufficiently drunk, and I think we will be. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And I mean, this was an unexpected stop, and we're, we're having a great time. It's my favourite one yet. Great time. There's a man in the background with a Guinness heart. Guinness is 265 years old. Um, and it was made in Dublin, which means technically if you drink Guinness, you are culturally appreciating the origins of Ireland, which makes you a good person, which means everyone should drink Guinness every day. <laughs> every day. Talk to you on it. Hello everyone. So we're starting off with presentation, as you can tell. Um, it looks like the bog standard Guinness. But the reason we're giving it a whopping seven, which is, you know, decent, is because it didn't have the full, 
the clover thing that the other ones had. <laughs> what do you call it? But it didn't have that. So we're giving it a seven, but it's still decent. Like you look at it and you're like, oh, it's a Guinness, you know? <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna say. I'll pass it on to Eve. Okay. General vibes of the place. Really nice outside area. Great street, very lively. Inside, I'm loving the blow up Guinness thing. Adds a touch. The Guinness memorabilia also adds a touch. And they've got so many cool posters on the walls. So generally, like, good vibes. They have a DJ inside. I really like it. And the bouncer saying, what did he say? Who's the naughtiest? Loki puts me off a bit, but it's kind of funny. So <laughs> good vibes. Eight out of ten. Okay, naughtiest here. Um, uh, okay, so the other places, I did like the taste more. This is a little bit, like, it's colder, which is nice, but, like, I don't know how I feel about really cold Guinness. I kind of like it to be a little, a little bit, like, lukewarm. Scandalous, I know. Um, sort of, it's very irony, and I think everyone everyone has agreed it yeah. has a very iron taste, so I think we're going to give it a 7 out of 10. Uh, price, £4.50, which is better than White Heart, and I say we give it 8 out of 10? 8 out of 10. Um, yeah, and I think this is a great place to go before you go to maybe like O'Neill's or Seamus O'Donnell's. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Loves it. Loved it. Loves Loved it. it. Yeah. Okay, we have reached the end. We've reached the end of our Guinness education. We're sad, we're tired, we're hungry, we're kind of drunk. It's been great. I've been very happy to share it. Cheers! 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 Do you like Guinness? Not after like two. <laughs> I like it more than I did. So when at like pub number three, I was loving Guinness. Now at, at number what are we on five six five, number five. I just want like a gin and tonic. <laughs> hey guys, we're at Seamus O'Donnell's. Uh, vibes. Okay, I'm gonna give it. Well, we're gonna give it a ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. It's a really good place to come on, obviously on St Patrick's Day because it obviously is Irish. Um, not Italian. No. <laughs> not Italian. Not Italian. Um, but it's really fucking fun. The only thing is, they don't do baby Guinness. Oh well. Um, yeah. Pass it to you. Okay. Um, so, in terms of presentation, um, right, as we can see, we were given a plastic cup. Now, I don't know if they don't trust us, I don't know if they don't like us, but at the end of the day, it's a plastic cup, we weren't able to split the G, and as much as I love this place for the vibes, I can't give it more than a 6 out of 10. I know, I'm really sorry. I love you, Seamus O'Donnell, but who do you think I am? <laughs> a prize for giving it a whopping four. We're broke students, collectively, and it was six pounds something, wasn't it? It was six pounds. And whereas, every, so it was six pounds exactly, whereas everything else was four quid something. So, I'm not gonna lie, it's not worth, in price terms, it's not worth it. Presentation. You're doing taste. Taste. It was great. I'm I'm gonna give it a five. I mean, there was something about it that was different, but then it's balanced out by Eve's <laughs> redemption of it from the black current. So that gave it a seven. So we'll give it an overall six. Thank you. As for the overall pub, this is a incredible pub. It's great vibes. I'm having a good time. Although would love a baby Guinness right now. Well, I'd love a baby Guinness, but it's do you know what? It's okay. Yeah. If you, yeah, if you're here on March 17th, I reckon rock up here. You'll probably met, be able to do a cheeky uh, Irish dance. So go for it. And uh, send your videos so we can laugh at you. Lol. Say, Not laugh at you. Appreciate you. That's what people say. Uh -huh. so let's see how we got here. Celebrate your cheeky St. Paddy's Day with a Guinness. You know you have to, and come and visit one of these pubs. Yay! Yes, bitches.